do it. Now Let's we have like a countdown at step one. Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. Marcy. Hey, where does oh, that go? Oh, yeah. go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 well, we had we're that always covered it. because we've got Facebook here and we've got Instagram over there. So oh hi gosh. guys. Hey well, guys. Regan's checking in on. You guys all get to be on my page and be like, ah, oh, there you are. If you're going to Regan's page, it's not quite up yet, but it will be. Not quite up, but yeah. So, um, first off, Regan and I are enjoying the gorgeous sun that's going to be coming down. You guys might get a little view of the sunset. Yes. Give you a second to jump on and please tell us, there's Simon. Simon, hello. What's up, Simon? Um, please tell us where you're joining us from, where around the world you are playing and enjoying with us this this uh, beautiful sun coming in back here in, in this beautiful gorgeous space that I get to sit next to right I mean okay. Yeah. okay yeah I'm just gonna make it go live again got it this time it's gonna go live cool like right what's away. up Instagram yeah we and Instagram we realized we're a different you. view here so I, I'm wearing like my, my big open <laughs> Instagram gets the, Thailand pen the exclusive and I'm like Woo! The I better be aware you right now yeah totally awesome okay. Katarina my sister oh you get to meet yeah hopefully Katarina you'll be here for Thanksgiving and hopefully Regan will be able to drop back All down right. here, so you'll get to meet her as okay, well look I think I think wow, this your is... phone just looks so awesome it looks so good on your phone <laughs> I love it well we can and hearts guys you are the best okay, we definitely need hearts oh my gosh my the hearts right we hearts need hearts, hearts. I Purely love it because we have like we so love I hearts. just I feel like we need a personal photographer oh my gosh we have so many cool people to from photograph over. this guys you yeah. can't even see Nigeria this. Okay. Awesome okay amazing Nigeria is here I mean Nigeria Look, is like locking it down yeah, from like, India <laughs> there's India. a full studio <laughs> going on right here because you're on too so we've got three That's phones right. rolling right now How we roll and let's talk about that let's start with that even being we um, can start with that location free Steve? <laughs> right location free I, I posted the yes. picture of you know this gorgeous woman like hanging out rocking it wherever she goes um, I think the picture I shared was when I was in Bali last and yeah. you know last month I probably traveled was from Bali too did was you know that really? yeah yeah it's just divine perfection <laughs> of there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah so I mean last year this last year I probably traveled eight months of the year plus uh -huh. having the beautiful manifestation mansion is yes. my home base yes. which is awesome and <laughs> we're we're talking about how simple and easy manifestation really is and right. how hard and complicated we make it and the human brain wants to make it and so it was interesting because yes. Regan was telling me about she's here to um, kind of speak and participate and share in a mastermind that you'll be at tomorrow yeah so I have the blessing of this gorgeous woman just dropping in and being able to stay here <laughs> and getting some time with her and uh, she was sharing some stories about the last time she kind of participated and you know it's like a lot of times people make it so complicated and you're right. like can I just share a different way? Yeah. Can I just share a different way? Can I just tell you what else has worked for me that could be way simpler? Right. Right. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, babes, this is kind of how we both operate. This is, I guess, right. why I align so, so much with Regan was like, she's like me, obviously we're mirrors, <laughs> and yet doing it the same way. We believe in flow and ease yeah. and, you know, a lot of that comes from belief systems and other things too, yet right. we just live in a place where manifesting is really easy, yeah. we're worthy of that. And so, of course, you get to travel the world and do what you want to do, and it's exactly. just, you know, making it so easy. So, it really is kind of like the way we both align to being, mm -hmm. and why I think we're excited to kind of dive into this with our three-day event coming up in December. For yes. the, yes. It's like, this yes. is what we really know. This is what we <laughs> right. really know, yeah. and this can be so easy. I love that yeah. you brought it up as well, because I think for both of us, it's something that we do really automatically, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's one of those things where it's kind of like, you're so good at it and it happens so naturally that mm -hmm. you kind of almost don't even think to talk about it because yeah. it's just your natural it's state like, of being yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah it, it was interesting like sitting in this event like I don't know it was a year or so ago mm -hmm. and there was a lot of conversations about online business and social media and making money and mm -hmm. manifesting and all this stuff and yeah. there's all these people and they're doing it but it's so freaking complicated it's a big process <laughs> oh my and when god I do this down the road then I can get to right that. yeah and I was sitting in the room listening to what everyone was learning and I was like holy shit like I don't know about the rest of you guys but I'm confused mm -hmm. like this is really complicated this mm -hmm. looks so hard mm -hmm. and then I was looking and I was like well I've done half of this stuff but I, I do like one of those ten things and yeah. and, and it can be so much easier <laughs> and so simple and I was sitting there at the event literally being like um, can, can 
can I just can I just explain uh, how I do this? And yeah. I mean, you can do it the really long, co hard, complicated way if you want, or you can make it really, really, really yeah. simple. Yeah. So that's what we want to talk to you guys about today. So we mm -hmm. would love any questions that you guys have yeah, around manifesting, around flow, around really tapping into your gifts and your your truth, and mm -hmm. how you can do this in a way where it's so easy and you have mm -hmm. so much fun. And you get to play so much. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's really the core of it. Yeah, right? I think what's interesting, you know, is like um i was ta i was actually talking to somebody a couple days ago about mm -hmm. they're feeling some resistance they're like okay i get to create some money and i'm like when that shows up it's the perfect thing to go oh cool what else would work and how else would i love this to right. work and literally i within mi a minute i'm like you can do this you can do this you can do this you can do this this does this then that does that and then boom you have that and then there's a product and you know it's like right. easy like there's infinite possibilities right. there's ways to do this and everyone else seems to be like well thank you guys loves for that right because right. it is all Hunts. available to you right now <laughs> And yet their response is like, well, when I, and this is what most people think, right? When I build a site, then I can advertise. When I right. figure out what my program's gonna be, and then I outline the whole thing, yeah. and I have it all put together, then I can raise my hand and be like, hey, I have this program. Bali! And all these things, <laughs> Bali Love is coming to uh, drink my juice. Some, no, <laughs> Bali, yeah, yeah, no, 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 Bali. <laughs> Green juice, Yay. you got Bali Love jumping in here. <laughs> Right, and it's the same thing we were talking yeah. actually about. You know how I even got Bali is um, from another country. It's like I have an intention, but there's no attachment or expectation, and how just flow leads you to the one thing to the next. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing the way that uh, all of us have just been. It's almost like if you sit with it and you're like, oh, okay, does success is, and you you tune into like what comes up for you. If success mm. is hard, or you know sharing your gifts, or yeah, it's like we have this idea just yep. because it was done this way in the past. Mm -hmm. And this is why I say you tune in, and you go, well, what what do I want it to look like? Right. What way would I like it to be? So we both created online businesses that don't look anything like the normal online. Because right. I've actually had some personal clients that were like high level online marketers. And I remember them asking me, how do you do your email list? And I'm like, I don't do email <laughs> Right. Like, how do you do newsletters? I'm like, I don't do that. Like, right. <laughs> it literally to almost everything was, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. Yeah. Because I've kept it simple. Mm -hmm. And yet what's matching or what, what <clears throat> allows that to work and manifest is that I'm aligned to that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's totally. such a big piece of it where if you're okay, I mean, I always say any business strategy will work when you're in alignment to receive. Of course. Any business strategy will work when you're in yeah. alignment to receive. Yet, when you're not in alignment to receive, you're like so focused on the business strategy and you put all mm -hmm. this time and energy and money investment into it and you still prove yourself right and it doesn't work and you don't receive because right. you're out of alignment to receive. Totally. Yes. So much yes to that. And I think a big piece of this is really looking at what is blocking you and stopping you, right? Yes. Because ultimately, <laughs> hey, <laughs> come here, baby. Come here. If you want hey. something to show up in your come life, here you want something to show up and if you if you have this dream or desire or this vision that you're calling in and it's not here and the here and now right now then there's something internally which is not aligned to it yeah that and you're withholding from yeah yourself. totally mm -hmm. and i Look see at all those hearts that is a really good nugget oh. right there if you're not you know, if you're not i always say if you're not moving towards what yeah. you want in some way you're in some sort of bullshit story to be totally. that's why you can't have it so you totally. are always the one that's withholding it exactly and i see this unconscious patterning going on with a lot of people mm -hmm. and i call it the if this then that pattern so it's like <laughs> then people are literally saying to themselves whether they realize it or not well yeah. if this happens then i'll do that and if yeah. that happens then i'll do this right and, it, and it's so interesting because it's like oh like if i get my visitor here then i'll start doing this other thing and yeah. then if i do that other thing da, 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 and all then of a sudden, i'll pay marketing money right. here or da, 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 da. Yeah, right totally. and it's so crazy and we're putting so much of ourselves like outside of this yep. and stuck in this pattern and it's even like you know if I get the money yep. then I'll be happy and then yep. they get they get the money and then it's like oh I'm not happy because it's all unconsciously linked up and kind of messed up yep. and so I think it's a bit <laughs> probably it's like just going through all the cameras maneuvering through all the cameras yes. <laughs> and we're still safe we're all three are still running That's right. Right. and I'm safe I'm like right on the water I'm just remembering not to get too big and expressive Sorry. where I'm like oh, I'll go in the pool yeah I know it's so crazy and the thing is is that when you start linking up patterns like that unconsciously yeah. um, you never really get to what you're looking to manifest so mm -hmm. for example people might be like okay well when I have the time then I'll start a business yeah. and it's like okay then we create the time well then it's a do in the future right it's outside of you right it's a 
future energy. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. And so even if they then create the time, they're like, okay, but now I need the money. So if I then create the money, then I'll start the business. So then they have some money and they're like, well, then if I have the confidence, then I'll start the business. And they yeah. never actually get there yeah. because they're putting this if this then then pattern mm-hmm. on the outside of it. So I think mm-hmm. it's really acknowledging, wow, where am I yeah. doing that instead of actually going straight to the source and connecting to the core of what yeah. I want to manifest, yeah. firstly. And I love that you brought that up because that's something I know we want to dive into in our three day is right. being abundance. Mm, like being yes. abundant. So there's a couple aspects to this. Even if you think about, um, like you just mentioned, uh, uh, someone has a scenario where they go, okay, if we're powerful creators and we can have whatever we want, they look at it and they're like, well, I'm in my job. I want to travel. I want freedom of time. I want more money, but I'm in my job. Right. And they're just like, I'm in this circumstance. And so again, the thought is like, well, when I, you know, when I know what I can do or when I get a business that's working or blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And the massive disconnect, like you're saying, and we're just breaking this down is that it, that's putting it into a, it's outside of me for the result. Right. And I always have to wait. I'm a, actually, let me tell you guys what's really happening. You are being a bitch to your circumstances. Right. Right. <laughs> like you're, yeah. you're the one exactly. who's like, I, it, it doesn't depend on me. It's all based on what happens around me. Right. Right. So now the disconnect here is it's not just going to suddenly one day show up. Mm-mm. It can't. If you are operating the belief system, the vibration, those patterns, that's what you're calling in more of. So when people right. are always like, they're so busy and they're in chaos a lot, we mm. work with a lot of high level influencers where we take them from chaos to flow exactly. and upping their income and everything else. Right. Right. And so it's like, if I'm in, when you're in chaos, it's like, well, when I have more of this, I'll create balance. It'll never show up. Mm-hmm. It never will show up because you're in a pattern every day you're getting so much of love creating for that. chaos. Right. There's, there's love flowing. Love. I know. Look that, at yours. Right? I got loves guys oh. on my life. <laughs> She's got love coming everywhere. Right. There's love everywhere. Yeah. And, and when we realize, okay, so in this circumstance, how do I be it now? You can yeah. only shift it to receiving it by being it first. And so even to go in this circumstance right now, how can I give myself more freedom of time? Right. How do I give myself permission to, you know, love on myself more? How do I, how do I create, oh cool, even if it's a small mini trip on the weekend, mm. I'm giving myself, I'm being the person that's like, huh, I'm, I'm, I'm worthy of travel. How would I get to create right. that and do that? And so it's always about, well, I want that. How would I get to actually create that and move an inch towards it? And if I'm moving an inch, the vibration is at least in alignment that it's like, this is where we're going. So then the next step, the next step, the next step shows up versus people back here going, well, when it all shows up that way. Right. And again, you're wearing these blinders. I, you know, I think of those like, you know, they put on the horses, right? Where they can only see right here, but you're, you're wearing these blinders that it has to show up that way. And you cut out all the infinite possibilities of all the ways that it could show up, you know? So, I mean, it's just, it's interesting to even, um, you know, look at this, this idea of how we be abundance in exactly. all aspects versus seeking abundance. And so I want to tune into one thing. If you even said like, I'm rich, if you say I'm rich and you notice what the vibration is for yourself, you might have mm. thoughts or beliefs or things come up like, um, oh no, 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 rich people are assholes right. or, um, you know, rich people, you know, don't have a heart or whatever might be there for you. Or yeah. I had one with a high level influencer client that was like, she realized how she was blocking manifesting more money. Cause she thought rich people, if I'm rich and I'm beautiful and mm-hmm. I'm this people will reject me because I have it too exactly. good. And you, you see these internal little subtle energies that you're not aware of. Yeah. And so even if you go, if you're broke right now and you want to manifest abundance in your life in all aspects. So you say, uh, you do these affirmations, I'm rich, right? Yeah. And that's what most people do is just say some affirmation, but it exactly. doesn't align and resonate. But what I want you to tune into is, can you say, if you say I'm rich and you're like, there's no way I'm, I'm rich, I'm broke right now, da, right. Da, 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 da. but if you go, can I, can I embrace that I actually have that trait and aspect in me? Mm-hmm. If I chose to, you know, show, show up on video and, and express myself, if I chose to do something I love and my passion, my purpose, my business, can, do I own the quality that I could choose to be rich? Right. Right. And so starting to see yourself in even alignment to that, where most mm-hmm. people see this is the unseen that most right. people are like, I'm just here doing what everybody does, which is like, I'm just going to, you know, pay for this and try to get that and, and think about this and not tune into what's going on inside exactly. us, which disconnects the alignment. Exactly. And it's, mm-hmm. it's funny you brought up the example of rich because I used to battle with exactly that. And, mm-hmm. and for ages I was walking around, you know, going, I'm rich, I'm this, blah, 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 and all, all these different affirmations. Yeah. And I was like, why is this not flowing in? And <laughs> why does this not feel why, good? Why is this not feeling good? And yeah. I tuned into it. And for me, um, thanks for the hearts guys. I'm yeah. We, we love your love. Heart. We, we really Instagram. appreciate your heart. Instagram, 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 Instagram. Instagram. Come I feel on like Instagram. you need to give us heart some hearts as well. Like, heart it up. Heart it up. Right. 
pretty sure there's a hat thing at the side. I could, I mean, my my legs are showing. I could spread the legs a little bit. We might get some more love in We're going to do whatever it takes to hide. There we go. We've got Instagram hat. Oh my god, it's some, so funny. There's some sort of love that gets it's to be so good. It's so funny. Oh my god, it's your live stream. <laughs> yes. yes, I love it. And you guys can't even oh, see my pussy. <laughs> okay, we're happy. I guess we they kind of can. can. <laughs> we can keep we'll it coming. We'll we just, love it. Just we keep it coming. We'll see what happens. It we'll obviously happens. has a good effect. We get way excited. <laughs> totally. So, this word rich, like, mm. I realized that. For me, I had words um, being brought up where it was like, yeah, money was kind of a good word, wealth was a good word, mm-hmm. um, but rich, it was like, oh, that means you're like greedy, and mm-hmm. that means you're selfish, mm-hmm. and all this other underlying stuff. Yeah. And interesting enough, and this is really relevant for anyone in business yeah. or message who wants to be seen and heard, the other word that I was like, oh, I can't stand it, was the word famous, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I remember um, a mentor of mine asking me some questions around like my visibility and my business and my following and speaking and all this stuff, yeah. and she's like, well, how famous? do you want to be and I was like I don't want to be famous and yeah. she's like why not and I was like well famous people are stupid and like, <laughs> right I love that's it. what came out of my mouth I love the and then she's like oh interesting yeah. why are famous people stupid Regan mm-hmm. and and I literally heard my childhood self and my yeah. family come out of my mouth and I was like well you know they're just dumb celebrities that don't know what they're doing and just they're just in trash magazines like all this stuff right and then this person was like okay and she kind of dug in and challenged it she's like what about like Richard Branson who's famous who's doing amazing stuff in the world exactly. what about this person this, this, this. and I was like oh my gosh and I realized I was blocking my visibility yeah. so much yeah. in my business because I was like I don't want to be famous so my vibration was literally pushing yeah. people away from being seen being having seen, opportunities having following oh my god all that stuff and it was like whoa 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 it's so yeah. crazy so I think it's really so critical to dig in and start looking at okay yep. what are these um you know the languaging of the, the words unseen, our the unconscious unseen, commitments. what vibrations yep. am I playing into and then yep. after you've started clearing this stuff and this is a lot of what we're doing with people over yep. the three day that we're running together is really looking at individually digging in and what is blocking and stopping your manifestations mm-hmm. like what are these trigger points that are uh, lowering your vibrations so you, you can't probably step don't into even know are level. there you exactly. know it's just our gift to kind of see what's there and exactly. a lot of times again to ourselves yeah. you can be doing everything and be like and then not even until that comes up where it's like oh no wonder I'm blocking my right. visibility you can't I had an I internal representation that. an interpretation exactly. that just got to be upgraded we're having a conversation exactly. with your four year old self versus right. like your right. you know exactly yep. mm-hmm. and you can't see your own blind spots most yeah. of the time that's the thing that's why we're going to help you dig in and mm-hmm. really look at okay what is blocking you and stopping you and then from there once your plate is a little bit clearer yeah. and you have a clear field it's like okay cool in what way do you want to manifest because yeah. you really can manifest a gazillion different ways and I'm not saying that, you know, you can't do it if you think it has to be hard and complicated and lots of hard work. You, you can. can do it. It's just going to be hard for you. We know a lot of people that are really successful. They help and a they lot of people. Hard they make a lot of money. Yeah. And it's really fucking and hard. there's a lot right? of sacrifice involved. And that's okay. Exactly. That's totally okay. And that's a choice, mm-hmm. right? But yep. you really have to choose this. And it's really looking at, you know, it's kind of like you've got this vision and it's out there. And we're going to start pulling it into your reality mm-hmm. and into your now. And you start becoming one with it. And you start mm-hmm. being that version of yourself. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of like this process where all of a sudden when you become it's almost like you tap into this dream state with Mm -hmm. it right and it's like you become this version integrate yeah Mm -hmm. and it starts integrating into a part of your being and you start walking and talking and acting like it already is and people say is that just faking it till you make it and it's like no because if you're doing that you're doubting is it going to happen because you're faking it it's kind of like you're acting huge massive difference between fake it till you make it and that's why I think it's it's a lot of the surface self-empowerment things that we've been taught Right. That everyone is out there doing, and most of them don't have the result. It was interesting. One of my personal clients, he is a badass at waking up corporate America. Uh And he was telling me, as now he's been getting inspiration to work with coaches on getting their programs in corporate America, he's like, I'm I'm blown away to look at the results in this industry. Is Mm -hmm. that how a lot of them don't are hardly you know making this much a year and I'm like right. it's phenomenal to me how I had so many that would apply for my programs that were out there saying I teach you how to make money right. and they were broke or oh barely God. surviving so and bad. so it's so common you guys yeah. for us to operate in this fake it till you make it game and you can continue to be out there faking it till you make it right yet you're the one who's dealing with your real results as your exactly. reality right like if you're exactly. struggling for money and, and this that so it's like until you're willing to take radical responsibility for yourself and mm-hmm. say, ooh, this is obviously what I have as a result. What's going on in my vibration that's not allowing me to have that? So right. there's a big ass difference between this, this 
it, it, like imprinting, and this is something that is so important to me, and I know mm -hmm. it's important to you as well, is that you're actually integrating and imprinting the way of being. So, because any coach and anybody can be like, cool, here's the structure, yeah. here's the strategy, you're right. going to do this, this, and this, and da, 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 and then this will go there, and that'll go there, and then you'll make more money. Just right. do this. Right. And it's like, and people do it, and again, yeah. there's a disconnect on receiving where it, when it's imprinting the way of your beingness, and this is why for me, integration mm. is such a big part Everything. of what I do with my peeps. It's Everything. such a big part. And that's why also we're talking about like going internal yeah. to integrate. So what we're also able to do, we're doing a VIP day after our two day, the two day event and mm -hmm. the third day's VIP where we can actually do some DNA activation and right. integration, meaning you upgrade your cells that they're ready for that capacity. They're, exactly. they're able to withhold that amount of energy um, opening up your multi-dimensional abilities, right? That all of a sudden it's like, oh, no wonder that's so natural to me. Mm. And now I can align to it as my true gift that of course it's, you know, a value that of course I get to be paid for that value. And right. it just would be like ridiculous for you to think of anything other than it being like, of course there's this beautiful exchange mm -hmm. because you're just here to have beautiful exchange. But when there's the energy of like, I have to, and it's lack and scarcity or these, again, these unseen vibrations, subtle energies, or unconscious yeah. commitments that are running, those will always win. Exactly. And this is where like the personal development and, you know, business training industry is really messed up in so many mm -hmm. ways because there's so many people going, here's a three or five or seven step system and they're yeah. teaching these steps and, and yeah, like, okay, we need that and we do need systems and we need strategy and we need to systems follow the Systems and structure is great to allow you to be more effective right. in creating more time, etc. Right. But if you can't call in, literally, I would say if you can't call it in without it, then there's a gap and exactly. a disconnect from allowing you to exactly. do it even with it. Exactly, mm -hmm. and this is why like 10 people will sit in a room and learn the same system, and then one person will go out and blow up, and the rest will be like, ah, the system doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, and it's mm -hmm. like, no, this What's is... What's the next system? Right, yeah. it's not like the system doesn't work, mm -hmm. and people are looking externally mm -hmm. for the answers, and they're looking for the 10 step thing, and they're looking for yep. the whatever outside of them, where it's like, okay, cool, yeah, that's like the icing on the cake. That's yep. like the 2% at yep. the end, and, and what you really need to do is look at, okay, how do I align to that? How do I be that yep. version of myself? How do I raise my vibration how do I shift my frequency like mm -hmm. those are all the questions that really need to be answered mm -hmm. if you want it to actually work yeah and yeah. I think I also like a part that I love is when you get to this place and we go through this then it's like cool now let's play yeah like now let's, now play, let's play with how do you want to manifest like exactly. what do you want it's like and it's infinite possibility this will always shift and change for you and then it's like yeah. you know I went from okay cool masterminds are like something that I love to do I love to coach and train so many people at once yeah. to you know what I'm like that's every other week or it's like you get to design it to be whatever you want and there's right. ways to you know someone going from not having anything at all yeah no website nothing there there is ways to easily manifest there's ways totally. to easily put yourself out there and to be able to create something different and someone was actually just heard me on a podcast the other day and was messaging me and being like you I, I, how do you do the whole thing where you do you know you've only done Facebook and organic marketing and you're you know doing that like how do you learn that and I'm like oh that stuff is so simple yeah it's it's what's blocking you is that you think it has to be hard right it's like that's just a matter of like cool clarity here and this is yep that feels good so then again it yeah. is an alignment you're not going okay well what I could do is if I just did that and I'll force myself yeah. over here again the whole vibration is like I'm not worthy of money and ease and grace and flow right. and I have to do something that I think will make me money oh, so right. I'm operating out of lack and scarcity and so you're just that's exactly what you're getting in exactly. the, you know, from that and mm -hmm. it's so funny with like simple manifestation mm -hmm. another example of this I don't even know if you remember but at lunch today we were talking about being location free right mm -hmm. and um, Marcy's saying like oh like I'm feeling like I might want to you know jump into that like mm -hmm. back again in the yeah. future and obviously I've been doing that for the last few years mm -hmm. and she kind of said you know like any tips kind of thing mm -hmm. Like, and, and I made you remember my response, I was like, mm, it's just, it's really easy, yeah. like, I don't know, just kind of do it, right? Yeah. And it's like, that was the response. Yeah. And what's funny is that like a week ago on my Facebook thread, I saw um, someone in my community who's recently gone location free yeah. for over the last month. And she was like, oh my God, this is so hard. Yeah. And it's been so stressful and this and that and boom, boom, boom. And yeah. here's all the reasons why. Yeah. And I remember seeing it being like, wow, that's so funny. Like yeah. I never really went through that hardness with yeah. it. And it's like, why? It's not because I have a secret strategy yeah. for how to live location free. It's not because I know mm -hmm. 10 things about how to pack mm -hmm. a suitcase that someone else doesn't, right? <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> I <laughs> it's the inner alignment of whatever yeah. I'm going to do or create in my life yeah. is going to be simple and yeah. easy and it's mm -hmm. going to flow and it's going to be amazing. I'm yeah. going to create what I desire. Yeah. It's and I was going to say, right? it's, it's your way of being that yeah. no matter what you interact with, yeah. that's how you operate. And it's like so when I told you that, you're like, oh, yeah, of yeah. course. Well, because <laughs> right? even I noticed how, you know, as Dallas and I talked about, because I'm, I'm most likely what's coming up in the next four, five, six months 
is I'm, you know, letting the, the magical manifestation go to be used in other ways. And yeah. I'm going to probably go, you know, travel to country to country. She's going to come and, play. Yeah. And again, <laughs> though, guys, so it's like, again, you, you find yourself in, it's like, I've created a life of travel and play, even with my two boys, yeah. even being a, a full-time mom, single mom and doing all that. And it, again, it's always like, you don't go, well, I can't because I can't because I'm a mom. Right. I can't. I was like, how does this get to work? How do I get to have teach my kids that I am fully worthy yeah. of doing all that I love to do? And they are as well. And so we've created this. And now it looks like we, we've got some opportunity for them to go do some things. And I'm like, huh, maybe I want to go, you know, to a place for two to three months. Yet this is the thing. See, I, as I tune in, I was like, what fits me perfectly? Yeah. Because I love being settled enough that I like get to enjoy, you know, like getting into creation and having good food and having a place to work out and love for all that. that, right? And so it's like, this <laughs> is the point is that you get to find the way that works for you. Now we yeah. noticed, because I was sharing with Regan how, you know, um, someone else was like, well, you know, I always worry about, can I get Wi-Fi and how am I going to be grounded in my business? I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, this is like... Of course, there's always going to be Wi-Fi. Of right. course, there's always a way that you can have, you know, calls with your clients or do anything all over the world. And when we drop the story that it's hard. So for me, again, yeah. it's like you. I'm like, I'm excited. Like, this will yeah. be easy. So much fun. I'm so excited. Right. And other people are like, oh, no, what if I did that? Yeah. And that just goes to show how you're operating. It's just like a mirror into your internal system. Yeah. That's all it is. So, you know, yeah. we talk a lot with it with money, but it's the mm -hmm. same with lifestyle. It's the same with clients. Everything. It's the same with yeah. relationships. Like, it's the same with all of it, yeah. right? It's how you're operating. So it's like you're operating yeah. and you're operating. This is what we can break down and what we get to break down is we're the, the peeps that are going to be with us is how you are operating in your operating systems. Exactly. Because if one of them is off, it's kind of like this where it's like, Oh, I want this so bad. I, I, I want it. I'm worthy. And the other yeah. side's like, no, you don't. You're right. scared. Of, you're scared that that's going to happen. And what, like, again, like rich. Oh, you know what? If I'm rich, yeah. then I'm going to be seen as a stupid celebrity. Yeah, and you know, my family exactly. might reject me or whatever, even though that's unconscious and you're vibrating, you're saying one thing, but you're vibrating something else. Yeah. And it's like, no wonder you can't manifest. But the moment right. you bring all the operating systems into alignment, it's like one direction, one vibration. Exactly. Boom. And that's Boom. why it's so easy to manifest. Right. Right. Yeah. Should we check in on questions? Sure, let's do it. If you guys have questions, I'm seeing a stack of comments, okay. but you're really far away. So yeah, we'll look we're, at you. we're coming in. Um, if you guys have questions on manifestation, awesome. how to manifest <laughs> I love <simply>. this one. <laughs> Oliver says, and Oliver uh, um, set up, uh, we actually fund um, feeding some groups. Oh, that cool. Oliver yeah, yeah, set yeah. Up, which is amazing. amazing. I love that he does that. Realizing I create happiness. Rich. Rich. I love it. I love, I love it. it. That's, That's a great so cool. share, Oliver. All right. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's have a look. We've got oh, a wow, we got a lot. Okay, we've got a lot of questions on here. <laughs> a lot of All right, comments you guys are amazing. Jethro, watch up. Hey, Rokem. Steve, see. hey, hey. Amazing. Lakeisha, Hi, I Steve. love you. I can't wait to see you in a few days. Jethro, what's up? Missouri, I got hey, lots of people over there. Hey, Stephanie. Amazing to have oh, you Katarina here. Katarina's excited to meet you. Oh, yeah, I'm yes. excited to meet you, too. She's adorable. Okay, Liz says, I struggle with receiving after journaling. It seems I expect to receive disappointment. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to pause on that one. Okay, yeah. yep. And oh. then we can go back if you want. I was trying to see if there was. Ah. Oh, oh make gosh, sure Regan gets her green juice, guy says. I got her. I have I'm it. taking care Thank of her. Thank you so much for looking yeah. after me, guy. <laughs> I, I actually appreciate it. Bali's going to yes. try to get it again right now. Come here, now. Bali girl. Come here. Come, Just come here. Now. Okay. There you go. Bali love, loves. Okay, so okay, she should said. We, should we talk about that? I struggle with receiving. After journaling, it seems I expect to receive disappointment. Awesome. So I just say this This is a, a clear <laughs> reflection of your belief system, right? The The. If you, if, so this is beautiful, because if you say something and you're like, okay, I, I want this again, but you tune in, what's the underlying frequency that's happening? Um, it was actually one of my personal clients that they were about to do a launch, yeah. and I was like, cool, what, what's going on? What do you feel? And he's like, I'm excited. Like, I'm like, you know, I'm like describing me some things that are going on. And all these words were like, awesome things right yeah, yeah and something about it I just didn't feel like I mm. believe that and I was like okay let's just tune in for a minute that sounds like your head right like right is there an underlying frequency that's going on here is there an underlying energy that's going on here and he's like as you tune in he's like oh I'm nervous right I'm nervous exactly. I, and so what we try to do is be like oh I'm gonna turn that into excitement now yeah. that's great after we actually sit with the feeling Go to the core the of discomfort can you get comfortable we we're actually talking about this on my mastermind today can you get comfortable in the discomfort? Mm. If you're unwilling to be fully accepting of you feeling like a piece of shit yeah. that's not good enough to have yeah. it and all those thoughts and feelings and beliefs and, and everything to like sit with that and own that and feel yeah, that. Yeah, you're saying I shouldn't be feeling this. Yeah. Or it's bad to feel this or wrong to feel this. Uh, yeah. Or even who yeah. I was in the past was, it's like right. any energy. And this is something we go, we go, we're both so like bing on yeah. like any energy.
energy that is resistance energy is an energy of contraction versus expansion. Right. So if I have a resistance to anyone or anything or any way of being of life, and I'm putting resistance energy towards them saying that's not right or it should be this yeah. way when or I shouldn't even be like that or yeah. I any shame or blame. Remember, shame energy is the lowest vibrating energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's always blocking that's manifesting, that. right? Right, right? <laughs> so if you're if there's any resistance energy in your world and in your internal system, you are blocking manifesting. Right. Right? And and so when you can be with it and say, Oh, I notice I'm still afraid. I I, I think I'm gonna be disappointed. I remember years ago if someone was like, Hey, I need to talk, I instantly was like, Oh no, what's gonna be wrong? Yeah. And I caught that and I was right. like, That's so interesting. Why do I think Let's there's going to be too. a disappointment? And yeah. as I saw, I was like, oh, that's conflict. interesting. And I got to be like, oh, like what else could it be? And like, yeah. I'm so excited to hear. Yeah. And allowing the space for that. And then it was always positive. And I was like, now I expect that cool. Like, you know, there's exactly. always going to be positive, great news. Yeah. So you get to catch that first, that uh, there could be an unconscious commitment that's running of it, it, that it's hard, mm. right? An unconscious commitment of I'm not worthy. So if you're afraid you're just going to have disappointment, it's like, I'm not worthy of awesomeness. So of course, you know, I'm going to do this. But I'm expecting it's not going to work out. Right. Guess what you just planted was the seed of fear in whatever you gave birth to. And it's just going to grow with fear in it until it sabotages. Exactly. So, so there is a process, and we'll get to do this when you guys are with us in the three days, mm. of actually breaking down any type of resistance. Anytime there's any resistance. And you get so in tune that you're like, oh, I, oh, I feel something. Like, right. it's like that fast. You, I mean, people ask yeah. all the time, they're like, how do you? I'm like, I instantly feel it. Exactly. Because I'm now we get to bring you to the place where you live in awesomeness and live in alignment because the moment you feel off like we we're so like we feel something we hear something yeah. and we're like oh let's bring voice to this let's actually right. feel into this let's see what that's about right. even the fact that regan's glasses broke today and we're like oh and she we're interesting <laughs> they broke twice why did the they second break? time they broke Left side, <laughs> feminine energy receiving we're, immediately we just, but like what does this mean she's looking up like <laughs> spiritual connections to the sunglasses <laughs> We're both evaluating it. I'm, like, I'm like, spiritual meaning of Prada sunglasses breaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. And we're like, hmm, there's some sort of perception shift to get to happen. And we're just both like, and the funny thing, I turned to her. I message Wamper and he's like, so who's behind the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, what are we facing? What aren't right. you looking at? And I even said to Regan, I was like, I so fucking love this stuff. Like, you can see why we get off on really diving deep. This is right. why we do what we do. And this is really why like even this three day, it's it's rare. I mean, yeah. you do your stuff all over the world. I do my stuff all over the world. They're usually very intense deep dive retreats. Right. And we're like three days, how deep can we take people? Two exactly. days and a VIP day, getting to actually look at all these areas that are showing up in your life. Because how you do one thing, you do all things, right? Yeah. So it's really Love easy it. when we tune into something like, you know, Liz, right? Like yeah. where you're saying that I notice there's always a, a going to be disappointment or that's what I'm mm. afraid of or that's what I feel so we get to break down where that came from or what that's or how that's showing up in your exactly. world and all the behavioral patterns and actually shift it then you're like taking the next step but instead of just like okay well I, I, I did this and I noticed that's there that's the underlying frequency most yeah. people don't know what to do with it so what do they do they keep on the surface pretending right I'll just exactly. keep saying affirmations I'll just right. keep spending money on structures and strategies exactly. and all these other things and that's what I was about to say like you also have to be really 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 intentional around what tools do you have in your toolkit for your mm. inner work and which totally. ones are you using where like I'm the biggest advocate of journaling I journal yep. practically every day like mm -hmm. I love it um, mm -hmm. it's one of my go-to's but mm -hmm. I'm also aware that it's just my mind yep. and then if I get really good I'm gonna start tapping into an energetic feeling yep. Um, but that takes, uh, I guess, a lot of practice to get to with your journaling as well. So, um, you know, there's a spectrum, a huge spectrum of so much, <laughs> so much was just available yeah. beyond yeah. that. And then it's really looking at how do I access all these different tools at all these different times rather than just using my mind because that's like 2% of what's really available, right? Yeah. Well, I always say it's like, you know, it's like using your pinky finger if it you're is. looking at your entire body system. And I, I love that you brought that up. There was something I want to speak to with that. Yeah. That it's it's even when we realize that um, the mind is just a tiny piece of it. So it, when you're like, we get to we get to see all these ways, like all these different tools. Okay, now the difference is there's people who go to tools like, okay, I'm gonna just go to this tool. That's still like doing a surface um, band aid. You yeah. know, it's just like if somebody's like, I don't feel good, so I'm gonna drink a glass of wine. Exactly. Right. Or, or I'm gonna go to food. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cake! <laughs> Damn it! It's cake time. 
And then there's, I mean, I break through overcoming sabotage with food and food associations too. And right. And people can even go to where they go. They're like, okay, I'm I'm not doing that. And they're like, oh, I'm fucking doing it. I'm right. doing it, and right. I'm choosing to do it. Right. Exactly. So there's 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 in those moments there's not just like well let me reach for a tool the point is you become the tool the point is that you become like we operate in a way and i tell my peeps i'm like believe me this just gets easier every day we start catching it and we we give our um we we create a new program we create Mm. new neural pathways in our brain and every single time we go there you're all of a sudden that becomes the path of ease it becomes the uh, of you know the path of ease is is what's simple and what's slow and it's all these things and versus you've just been doing it this way for so long that's what you knew right. and the moment this becomes a path of ease it's like i tell my clients like now it, it this is how it works for me if anything shows up like oh that's interesting and like what else could that be like we did today right. like, oh, what could that be and it's exactly. like it wasn't there was no judgment on it you didn't freak out about your product glasses yeah. being broken <laughs> just like oh and what did you say you're like ah i'll just go into la in the store and they'll just give me another one yeah like you already created that that's gonna happen because exactly. you even did it once before you yeah. like and they didn't have any receipt or anything they're just like we trust you <laughs> yeah that's the vibration like, we never do this but here's a brand new but pair. For you. <laughs> and then they broke again <laughs> right so it's like there's this evaluation yeah and it's it is perfect beautiful feedback and then it becomes the way that you operate so instantly anything in your life just like she said if she's traveling of right. course it's like oh well how would i how would this get to be fun and easy for me yeah and and what would be the most in flow and we're worthy of going cool i have my whole foods order that gets shipped into me right away or my right. team takes care of this exactly. and you're and even if you're not at that level you're at a place where you're building you're doing that still mm. because you're giving yourself permission just like first time i got cleaners I remember thinking like oh I couldn't have somebody clean my house and my toilets and that would just be so selfish right and it was like all that childhood stuff of like yeah. we're not worthy you're poor yeah and then I realized I was like wait a minute let's evaluate this how much yeah. how much money am I actually able to make by saving me that day of cleaning my mm-hmm. house and being with my kids and when you evaluate it's like crazy yeah right and so we're kind of doing a lot of crazy things based out of our human conditioning exactly versus what we're aligning to and our clients align to is that when you're aligned to your divinity and how you're designed to operate meaning your operating systems are actually designed to manifest with ease yet we've (laughs) we've disconnected from that that effortless divinity design and we've been doing it the hard way with the human brain and the human operations and all we want to do is share with you how you bring the the Bring these tools of your divinity and operating and being all the time. <laughs> she's going up here doing this. She's like, ah. right? I know. Fine enough. She's like, mm. Hi. Hey. She's hey. like, give me high fives, right? All the hearts. Wait. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> she nearly oh. took out the green juice. She okay. saw a lizard and she's like bolted and she tapped it. See how everything always works I out love so it. perfect for us. Okay, cool. Yolen says, how do you live location free, Regan? Where do you keep all your stuff? Okay, so I keep my stuff in a suitcase. Mm-hmm. I know that seems hard to fathom, but I do. Um, I mm-hmm. also have little multiple suitcases around the world. But the whole point of this conversation is it's not about the strategy yeah. <laughs> around yeah. how do I live location free and what are the 10 things that mm-hmm. I do, but what is the internal cool. alignment which created that lifestyle? I feel like we should grab awesome. Instagram. Should okay. we grab Instagram? Yeah, I was like, they got like, some questions going on, going on over here too. Let me check in. I think there was another yeah. question here. Yeah, and guys, I love to what Instagram, I what uh, Regan second. just said, right? Which is like, it's never about the how to; it's the who you're being, right? In any circumstance, who I choose to be yeah. will allow me to have what I want. Amazing. But if I if I'm trying to find how to do it. Again, that's outside of me. Instead, it's inside of you being worthy of it. What's the question Nothing. There? I'm just showing oh. Instagram to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you to Instagram. Instagram. This is Marcy. <laughs> this is Marcy um, from this view. Kylie says, Regan, it was awesome to see you on Billie Jean a while oh. ago. Yes, being really mindful of how I limit myself with my own beliefs. And maybe awesome. do you want to speak to that? Because it's also important to also not look at how are you limiting yourself with your beliefs. But, um, oh, yes, amazing. Sorry. Oh, wait, let me switch But also, you. how are you aligning to the next level of your upgraded belief system, which is a lot hands. around we'll what we're going to do. Cord for Amazing. Do you, you hold Instagram? Yep. <laughs> we, got we, got, we got so much going we're so on here. We're so all about the whole we're world switching awesome batteries, gifts of love and light. Jethro and says, I'm working on myself um, every day and it's bringing a lot of tears and negativity. I'm sure that's what oh. I need to get into the brightness. Well, yeah. 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 So Jethro was just with us in Peru. So he oh, went cool. like super deep. Oh, I'm into so darkness. happy for you. 
Oh yeah, my gosh. anybody that gets to go do um, medicine stuff with us is yeah. just, you know, it, it opens it's up level. an entire... It's next level. It's like wiping away 20 years of this it inner is. work stuff that we're it talking is. about and doing it all just like that. So it is, and I think there's that. something really powerful regardless, again, of the tools that you're using, yeah. be it medicine or journaling, whatever yep. it is, around how deep can you go into your darkness? Because yep. I really have found over the last year or so that it's kind of like a springboard. It's like the uh, deeper you go and look at it, the more you accelerate mm -hmm. back up, right? Well, yeah. Yep, and I always see it as, I mean, Regan and I are, ta you know, talk about where I was like, what are you up to? What are you up to? Like, what are the journeys you're doing? What are the things that you're doing? Because right. we're always both um, so enveloped all the time on our own expansion and on our own, which is just our, our like, it's discovering and expressing our divinity. And, right. and, and, and this is a myth that I want to bust for people is that they think that, you know, they have this judgment on yourself. Like, you're like, well, I'm doing all this inner work, or I've done all this inner work, or I've done all this. Like, why am I still having this show up? Mm -hmm. And I always say your core wounds will continue to show up because they're our greatest, um, they're a part of our actual DNA structure that you were meant to have these shadows and these wounds to transmute into a gift and be in your highest being as this being your core strength. Right. So these just show up each time to go, ooh, like, interesting. Like, what level do I still get to go to? Do I get to look at of where I get to love myself and heal myself? And so, you know, um, uh, tapping into feeling that, that the, the, you know, sitting with the discomfort. If, yeah. if, how can we own our divinity if we don't realize that we're all things? And of course we have discomfort. Of course we have, you know, our, our spaces where we feel unworthy or not good mm -hmm. enough. And the only way you, you shift the vibration of those things from shame and blame and not enough. Look at this. <laughs> right here. Instagram gets and close up and says, boom, boom, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a mannequin. Shut up, me. <laughs> That's awesome. We have so much fun. We really just don't give a fuck. We just have so much fun. Instagram's um, like, what's going what's on? Going <laughs> yeah. Instagram, this is what's going on. Yeah. Right oh, look, right Instagram meet Facebook. Facebook <laughs> meet Instagram. That's so good, right? <laughs> so, uh, uh, something that is really powerful is to knowing how we can actually uh, embrace and accept all of our darkness. Yeah. And we see it for what it is. So, I mean, in one of my journeys, I think I told you about this one where it's like one of my very first journey experiences where I got to see that I was still carrying shame in my body as a, from being four years old and believing I'm not pretty enough, wow, I'm stupid, yeah. I'm ugly. And I remember I had these visions of going down, walking down the halls and literally wanting to be in an invisible bubble. Mm -hmm. I wanted to kill myself and drive across the road. And, you know, yeah. when I first turned 16, it was just like because I just from the time I was little decided I wasn't enough. And all that shame, now I could actually look at that shame and I was like, oh, sweetness. Love on that. Oh my yeah. gosh, I was the cutest yeah. little girl, this cute little thing. Mm. And I totally just decided and chose that perception. And then I saw the gift of everything that taught me. So it's like all of a sudden I embrace the shame. I right. love the shame. And there's no shame in the shame. No. There's just, it's just experiences. So these are some of the things that we get to actually own that are the exactly. unseen. You can't what, and I love it's Debbie Ford that says, what you can't be with won't let you be. Exactly. You can't, you can't be with your greatness if you can't be with your darkness. And in fact, there's beauty in the shame and, and so there's opportunity beautiful. in the shame because it's really looking at how do you actually take those moments mm -hmm. and, and use them as little clues mm -hmm. and trigger points and pathways into looking at, wow, mm -hmm. where is that wound that I can go and shine light on? Because ultimately, if you want to raise yeah. your vibration, you need to embody more light. Yep. And so it's looking at these moments of lower light or darkness yep. where you go in and then heal it, bring it to the forefront so you can raise your vibration and be yep. more light at yep. the end of the day. It's and really, how really the amount of energy that you can um, vibrate and that you can um, utilize in a form of power all depends on the, the amount of light that energy is embodied. Exactly. So when you actually activate your DNA, sometimes you learn these things, you have these experiences where we go, oh, I get it now. And I just yeah. see, it's like you just remember some information that it's like, oh, I understand now. And it grids it to go, ooh, now I actually feel yeah. and align and attuned to something at a greater degree. And that allows you to be more light. It allows exactly. you to embody or embrace more light and be more light. And that's why we're kind of like, we're having such a play day with this whole three day because we yeah. get to go deep dive into again manifesting with ease and simplicity which is both of our gifts and genius mm -hmm. seeing the unseen getting clear on the unconscious commitments also like dissecting and looking like like how do you get to rock it and like what is missing in the business structure and in in the different areas of your life that are creating that unseen unconscious commitment or block and vibration exactly. and then we get to also play with like some activation stuff speaking of which katarina is on the line and she is coming to our three day oh, nice. so exciting right. right yep perfect yep. timing awesome. so um 
just like iconic on Instagram, because Instagram's here, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> says, how important is the place where you live to make your business successful? Oh, I live in South America, and when I come back, I always find it hard to keep motivated. How important is the place? Oh, awesome. Okay, so, well, like, your environment is Yeah, fine, right? Yeah. Well, it's like, first off, it's like, are you giving yourself permission to live where you want to live, to experience right. what you want to live, experience what you want to experience. So we were even talking about this, how it's like maybe in the past where it's like you traveled all over and it was like, I go here, I go here, I got speaking, I got this. And then it's like, yeah. hmm, you know what? That just doesn't, that feels a little too rushed, a little too chaotic for mm -hmm. me. So you know what? I'm going to actually say, cool, I'm going to go here and I'm going to be here exactly. for two months. That's what yeah. I'm, that's what I'm like excited about. I like yeah. to be somewhere for like six weeks to eight weeks mm -hmm. to just settle and like travel a little bit and play and create in that space. So it might be like, cool, if I go back or if I'm doing something that doesn't feel good, why are you doing it? Yeah. Why are you stop. doing it? Stop right? It. Yeah. Just stop. stop. Just stop. <laughs> right? And that's the, that's the stuff that we get to dive into is like, yeah. where do I believe that I have to go do something to create money or to, yeah. you know, receive in some way. And it's actually, maybe you're receiving like this amount compared to you just receiving all this. Exactly. When you let go of the stories, you let go of the control and you actually allow yourself to be in flow with what what would serve you the most but exactly. the resistance comes up for you to start to question and there's a great question here loving the hashtag positive mindset and I love Instagram hashtag affirmations everything's <laughs> hashtags um, but I think it's also important to stress out that taking action towards your affirmation is also key yeah. affirm and take action like boom yay or hashtag happy business yeah. okay lots of hashtags going on yeah. Instagram right now yeah. and look it is important but I think there's two different ways yeah. you want to maybe pop Instagram yep. back I feel like it's mm -hmm. freaking late now you're like <laughs> Instagram doesn't have to be in <laughs> you, my face you got anymore right? <laughs> there we go there we go I think it's important to look at how you're taking action though because yeah. there's a lot of people that do all this amazing inner work and then they go now I've got to work really hard and kind of stress out about it and do all this and so I feel like there's a couple of hmm. different approaches to this mm -hmm. and what I see a lot of even very successful people doing is they say okay cool now now I've done all the inner alignment and all that good stuff how do I make it happen yeah. right and they're asking how yeah. and when you do that it's interesting because you're literally putting what you desire to manifest on your shoulders you're taking full responsibility for it which some people yeah. might say great yeah. I say cool it's one way to do it but what you're actually doing by asking how is you're doubting if it's gonna happen because mm -hmm. you're going how do I make it happen hence quote I might not be able to make it happen mm -hmm. what if it doesn't happen what mm -hmm. if I'm not able to figure out mm -hmm. how so you're actually activating a fair frequency yeah. right and you're putting this fair frequency out into the world so instead, and again, I'm not saying it doesn't work. You can create you it can that way. You can manifest money totally success, do it that way. and you might also get to do it without family time or right. freedom if that's the way that you're and you choosing it. You might have to it. work really, really, yep. really hard. Why is it saying low battery again? Mm. <laughs> Stop it. Let's see if this um, works. That's all right. And so the other way which you could potentially do it instead is doing the inner work. And then from there, Wait, I'm sure it'll be, it'll pop up. As okay. A, as a if yeah. you guys go off on there, you just jump on yeah, here. Yeah, just jump on the Just jump on Marcy's. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so the other way you can look at this instead of going, how do I do it? I like to ask myself, okay, what can I do to accelerate the manifestation process? Oh my gosh. And there's so, that's right? actually, <gasps> I was thinking about that because there's so <laughs> many, so many, so many goodies and tips that we get yeah. to teach on maximizing manifestation right. it is so available to us in so many ways it's your natural state and most people have no idea exactly yeah. so instead of going mm -hmm. how do I make it happen instead we start mm -hmm. going how do I speed it up and yep. what you're saying without saying anything mm -hmm. when you do that is you're going <laughs> Bali's like, <laughs> Bali's Bali's like <laughs> how do I maneuver the cameras <laughs> there we go you did it you did Good, it <laughs> instead you're saying well I already know it's gonna happen because I've chosen it and I've aligned to it and it's just how I am so what can I do to speed it up mm -hmm. so the question is how do I make it happen faster it yeah. instead of how do I make it happen and, and it's I, a very different yeah frequency. and I think just even what you're speaking to in the beginning is when most people go do inner work and I, I say that because I don't <laughs> believe it's work. real inner work <laughs> yeah. you know it's like surface it's inner work it. <laughs> it's kind of like again for you to even be in a place where you would have to question like you said I don't I think there when you when you actually lean in and you understand the principles of like owning all that you are they mesh together right they integrate so you're not in this place where like okay I just learned this and now I still feel like a disconnect you mm -hmm. actually integrate and you are the connection that it just is now a form of questioning and curiosity which is creation energy and so many exactly. people that's something else I know we'll dive into which is is like you know so many people believe creation has to happen a certain way <laughs> she's chasing lizards <laughs> <laughs> and creation is is moment by moment creation yeah. energy it's like so this is part of what we get to dive into around creating flow and allowing you to go to the next step to next step to next step so it's like looking at how like someone I talked to the other day and I gave them all these suggestions and all their limitations came up 
What ball? Sorry. What was that? <laughs> She's talking. Oh, now mine's low battery. Maybe mine wasn't oh charging goodness. either. Maybe we'll, we'll wrap, we'll it wrap up this shortly. up. Anyways, but the whole point is that being able to, um, you know, be in in the alignment with it. It integrates and you're just being it versus this disconnect which a lot of people will do so it's like I see it now and it's just kind of like again we know we can't save you we know you right. can only save yourself we're just here to simply give you the tools but yet do you choose in on on creating yourself to be aligned to who you truly are or find and discover your divinity and be able to express that fully and then mm -hmm. receive in that mm -hmm. so it's like giving someone seeing how it's like I gave her all these ideas and it's just like I know if they just chose okay cool well let me break this down each thing they had I'm like let's just break this down cool this would be an inch and this would be an inch and you know that would guide them to boom like a booming business and yeah. like so much more love and their choice might be like oh no I can't because and I just have to wait and I'm like sad because right. I'm like oh I know it's so easy and it's so available to you if you just allowed yourself to take that next step exactly. and so we want to break down those things and allow you to see wherever you're at in your business or your love relationships or your body or anything uh -huh. that's limiting you what are the unseen commitments that are happening and how do you get to learn how to how to operate in your divinity to allow yourself to manifest with ease all the time yes 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 truly yes. right yes right you should just you know <laughs> Boom, just like just, that. Just hashtag right? yes. Yeah, That's cool. Well, Instagram. I think I think both of our phones are going dead. <laughs> our studio is about to go. <laughs> <laughs> Came over. I think like everything worked out, right? Let's just do some hearts just for fun. Let's close with some hearts. You know, everyone breathe in and, and heart out. out. <laughs> right? And so, obviously, guys, if you want to hang with us, because we're just so much fun, come to the Magical Manifestation Mansion here in, in um, San Diego. Yay! December. December. Two-day event. Three day, if you are wanting to VIP it up with us, where we do right. some ac actual activations and um, some deep dive stuff, we're super excited because again, we're we created excited. this because we love to play together, and we we're do. like, we really feel like we can make a massive difference for those individuals in three days compared exactly. to you know what we get to go do all around the world. So this is really rare, really mm. unique. It's a one off. Literally. Don't know that it's ever it's gonna happen again. Not we're just gonna play. To, and you know, we might be playing in Peru, and there might be a different off, but this right. is. This is what's available right now. So mm -hmm. if you guys are interested in this, then please message myself or this beautiful woman, Regan, this goddess, <laughs> and we want to tune in and see if it really is a fit for you. And yeah. we'll give you some directions if we really feel like it is a fit. So yeah. that would be the next way that you can manifest yourself being in this manifestation mansion with us manifesting queens and just work out manifestation. Yeah. Right. And this is really for you if you want to take any area of your life to the next level. Yes. And if you're sitting there and you're like, cool, yep. like everything's good, but I know there's this next layer and yep. I know there's more and I'm really ready to do the work to tap into it. Yep. And it's very much if you get and understand at your core that by looking outside of you is not going to get you there and yep. it's not going to get you there quickly. Yep. But if you want to really accelerate it, it's yep. about aligning within and doing this internal work. And um, it's going to be full on, yep. right? Because there's it, both of us the whole that's time. How we <laughs> roll is pretty much full on. There's, right. there's just, that's that we get only one just, mode. It's straight shot. And I, I love that you actually brought attention to this. That it's like we're telling you guys, if you're someone who's just looking for the next secret strategy, it you know, it's not coming to this because yeah, it's we're not the right we, we, we right. work with people that we know like our our intention is to liberate souls and to exactly. literally align them to their divinity of having it all. And so everything we're doing is deep dive inner so that we can yeah. also tune into what structures or things are happening. I love, believe me, I love to go deep in the business stuff with my peeps. And I coach some of the biggest businesses in the world and we're always looking at branding and messaging and all these other things too. But all that comes from the inner alignment. So that's what we get to do. Yes. Yes. To be. So, so message send us, us a PM and then we can step you through the process. It's super easy. But just yeah. send us a message and just say, hey, I'm feeling cold and we'll go from there. Yes. Love easy. you guys. Have to we love you guys. If you love life. this, make sure you share this. Yeah. Make sure you leave us comments below mm. and let us know what did you love? What was your oh, biggest vegan. takeaway? I love you so much. <laughs> you and your sexy hair. You're just so fun. <laughs> you know what? It was so funny being in Jamaica because they love, love, love people that are like slightly different or uh, unique. So like, like, I'm not even kidding. Every uh. person was like, I love your haircut from across the beach and I was like thanks and you know what's even cooler I got it done there you did, you so it, it was it was after Peru and it was out of control long and fluffy and I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do so I went to like a hardcore Jamaican barber <laughs> and sat down and the guy's like you want me to do this man and I'm like do it man <laughs> and he's like what do you want me to do I'm like just do it and they did this right yeah, how cool is that I'm like yay so yay for Jamaican yeah. hair <laughs> so if you guys are a unicorn a magical being and you right. relate to wanting to be cray cray and different you're actually like I like the difference yeah you belong in the tribe you over here so. come play okay guys we love you have an amazing wonderful day <laughs> 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 ciao ciao